hey everyone and welcome back so in this video we'll be solving another cross site scripting lab on postgre academy so let's get started so this lab contains a stored cross site scripting vulnerability in the comment functionality and to solve this lab we need to submit a comment that calls the alert function when the comment author name is clicked all right so let me just open this lab and wait for it to load da, 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 da. okay it's taking a while let me just wait seriously yeah okay so now that we're in lab so let me just access the comment functionality where we have the cross site scripting vulnerability right so let me open a blog post where we have the comment section right so let me just scroll down and here is where we have the cross site scripting vulnerability right so as always whenever you're trying to find a cross site scripting vulnerability the first thing that i'll do is i'll always inject less than symbol along with some text right so less than symbol test one right test one here sorry test one and i need to inject everywhere i mean in all the four fields because i don't know where the cross site scripting vulnerability is actually present i mean in which of the fields right so that is the reason i need to inject in each and every field so that i can test each and every field for cross site scripting vulnerability right so test one for the first one and test two for the second one and for email it will be test three and for the website it will be test four and if i post the comment it says that this needs an email address so what i'll do is i'll use test3 right so test3 at the rate gmail.com right and if i post the comment and as you can see the comment is getting posted all right and let me just go back to the blog so that i can see how the fields are reflected on that page right so let me open the source code of the page so as you can see here this is my comment right so if i check the source code of the page and search for test right so test you can see that the first reflection is inside anchor href attribute right so the test four has actually come from which one this field right the website field so the test four actually got reflected inside anchor tag href attribute and if you guess it correctly we have a famous payload for anchor tag h sorry anchor tag href attribute right and that is so if i open visual studio so whenever there is an anchor tag href attribute and if the reflection is actually happening inside a href attribute what you can do is you can actually inject a javascript something like this inject javascript inject a payload something like javascript colon and after this you can write your javascript code here so for now i'll inject alert one two three and that's it so what happens is that this links actually gets you know embedded on the page this links get reflected on that page and whenever you tap on this link this particular javascript code that is alert one two three gets executed all right so let us just uh, test that so what i'll do is i'll actually inject something for the comment for the name something and for the email i'll give demo.demo.com and finally for the website i'll inject my payload so that is javascript alert one two three close the bracket and post the comment and once the comment is posted let me just go back to the blog and it says that the you know the lab is already solved but let me actually show you the proof right so this is the comment right so if i go to the source code of the page and if i scroll down you can see that we have injected javascript colon alert123 in the href attribute for the anchor tag so what happens is that whenever i click this anchor tag this particular javascript code that is alert123 gets executed so let me just go back to the lab and click on this particular link so let me just click on that and there you go so this is how you solve this lab thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video thank you bye